Welcome to Bench One, and today we have the Stylophone. The parts are not working, what can we find out about this? It says Stylophone pocket synthesizer, electronic organ boxed for parts not working, condition is for parts are not working. Have tried new batteries but can't seem to get it to work due to past battery corrosion. Good for a project or spare parts. Open to offers. What if that's part of the advert? Anyway, let's unbox it. I haven't done that yet and see what we can see. Uh, it says it needs three AA batteries. Let's open up the battery cover first. As I said, that it has an issue with the. Oh, yes. Well, have a good look at that. I think you could say that the batteries have been left in and it's completely corroded. All right, so look at the overall condition of the circuit board first. This is a potentiometer. That's be for adjusting maybe the tone. We've got a battery connection coming in there, and one coming in there. What else can we see? We've got a speaker that looks intact. The speaker wires that are connected. And on the top we have a switch, one, two, and three. Look at the manual, find out what that does. We have a power button and we have a vibrator. Positive, negative. It's only in pen, it will rub off a bit too easily. So what I'll also do is um, I'll take a couple of pictures. It's always good to try and remember. Can't always remember where exactly everything is. So uh, I'll take a picture first of that. I'll take a picture of the board as well in case some of these wires come off during playing about with it. I know exactly where they soldered back onto. So, so we've got a, a picture reference if we need it. Right. Let's desolder it. Okay, power supply is on. When you switch the switch on, you can hear a hum coming from it. That's vibro. Ah, oh, that's the noise I was used to hearing. I think. That's without it. That's with vibro. Oh, that's the si That's the noise I remember as a kid. I've got a very good contact, let's clean all this up. I'm going to try position two, see what that is. Slightly different tone. So it looks and sounds like it is absolutely fine. Um, so Cello looks like he was right. I wonder what that does. I want to find out what that does. Hang on one moment. So regarding um, what we're going to do with this, this isn't the keyboard, the pickup's not working very well to here. So all this needs to go clean off. Um, so we'll do some electrical contact cleaning, basically um, get a degrease all this. And the fundamental problem, we have to rebuild this battery compartment completely. And what else I'm going to do is I'm going to, because uh, I'm interested, I'm going to release this board off of here and have a nose around and see what's underneath it. I'm interested to know what's underneath this, what's inside this unit. So I'll see if I can release that board. So what have we got? Okay, so we've got a couple of switches. We've got the obviously the keyboard when you make a contact between 
this terminal, so effectively this electrical point and the path here. Depending on what segment you touch, for example if you touch that one, that connects down here and that will go off to uh, a chip that is, must be proprietary because it's under there. All these tracks, all these connections on this keypad actually all feed in to this. So basically there's not a lot here. We've got the headphone, uh, speaker, a microphone jack looks like here feeding in and they go up to this card up here. I'm still having trouble seeing what that chip is so what I'm trying to do is camera so it just focuses take a picture of it then I'll blow it up LM386 chip is an integrated circuit containing a low voltage audio power amplifier the IC consists of 8 pin dual inline package and can output 0.25 to 1 watt depending on the model should be able to work that out really shouldn't I because it's got a speaker here to drive and it won't be driven by this uh, chip would it so here's your power amplifier stage then got transistor there we've got some uh, ceramic capacitors we've got some resistors we've got as we just discovered the LM power amplifier chip and electrolytic capacitor there uh, what I'm going to do now and that is just a potentiometer on here to adjust the bias obviously on that chip to set the power level going off to the speaker so what I'm going to do I'm going to give this a, a clean I'm going to electrically clean up this keypad and the other bit and then reassemble it let's do that okay it's just a electrical contact cleaner degreaser I give that some on that potentiometer there. You can get inside of it. Just give that a wipe. That will wipe the tracks then. Okay. So that's everything back together again. I'm going to hook the power supply. Oh, I'm going to clean this stylus first on the front. And after that, we'll hook it back to the power supply, give it a try, make sure we're all still working. Uh, and then we'll move on to the battery compartment. Okay, that sounds quite good. Not as crackly as it was. All these battery contacts where the batteries leaked have completely destroyed them. The batteries are in the order of, this is the positive down here on this pad there. Um, and then it goes through and these two join together. And then it goes through that battery and these two join together. And finally down here for the negative. So these are completely had it. What I'm gonna have to do is install something more of a modern equivalent. Um, first, we're gonna get these bits out. All right, that's one out. Let's scrape away some of the, this contamination with a knife. Don't want any of this getting into the electronics later on down the line. The positive, that's the negative. So we need a spring-loaded one down that end. And a positive one down this end. Oh, look at that, they actually fit. Can you believe that? Nice, so that is one done. That was simple, wasn't it? Lovely, right. So that is one connection there, tag is through there. Let's install the others. Like so. And there's a tag through. That 
that's the soldering completed. 